Zimbabwe, like many countries in southern Africa, has been battling with a recurring drought, induced by the El Nino weather phenomenon. It is now making extensive efforts to reverse serious threats to food security. The use of improved seed choices has brought hope to the country. The new drought's tolerant May seed varieties are expected to increase yields. Farmers have really um, accepted the variety. It's a welcome idea because you find in some marginal areas again, before we'd say farmers, they grow sorghum, they grow millet and other crops as a food security crop. But you'd find that as they are growing those drought-resistant crops, they would also want to put maize. So that's where the challenge was. And, you'd, you know, comparing the two as they are growing against each other, you find that uh, sorghum, and millet and other crops are doing very well, and then the maize will have died off. The successful production of drought-tolerant maize for Africa was due to concerted efforts by the national research organizations, seed companies, and through partnerships with private and public institutions. We are working on drought-resistant varieties. We are working on basically no nitrogen varieties. We are working on the prediction of weather systems. We are working on the advisory system for smallholder farmers. Maize is a staple food for more than 300 million people in Africa. Most farmers have over the years been encouraged to switch to indigenous crops that are more tolerant of drought, such as sorghum and millet. The use of drought-tolerant maize seed is now widely believed to be among the best ways of assuring African farmers of better harvests and reduce food insecurity. Maria Galang, CCTV.